Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have the possibility that these Harry and Meghan photos could be manipulated so you think they were together when they were not. You remember that I covered these photos in yesterday's episode, but then this morning when I was having my coffee, it dawned on me. I had a sudden realization that the Daily Fail's original headline said, Harry and Meghan hold hands. And you know that when I'm doing all these body language analysis, it's never a good idea to do them the same day you look at the pictures or worse yet, videos. Because you need, you need to let your brain simmer the information, the pictures, the signals. And after a few hours, ideally the next day after a good night's sleep, your brain can see things that you missed the first time. But in this case, it was more remembering the Daily Face headline and then having the sudden realization that in none of these pictures they were holding hands. Uh, don't you tell me that you don't find it at least a bit suspicious. It's not like these outlets are the best sources for accurate reporting, but it's strange that it was heavily highlighted both in the headline and in the first paragraph. So they absolutely wanted to sell something that was not featured in this picture. Holding hands? When were they holding hands? It is never seen. And this becomes even more suspicious when you take a look at this. These two pictures of Harry and Meghan by themselves are the only pictures where you can see their bodies, especially their hands, right? Well, in Methane's case, she's got her hands on her pockets, but uh, you get the idea. Now, Harry's picture was taken next to the back of an SUV, so the photographer in this case was located to the left of the car. Megan's picture was taken near the front of an SUV. We don't know if it's the same vehicle, but we could assume it since uh, both are really close to it, right? Even the foliage on the side of the SUV is similar in both of them. In this case, the photographer must have been to the right of the SUV, so we have two options. Either there were two photographers or there was one photographer who had all the time in the world to go around them and take pictures from various angles. That makes sense to you, right? But when you review all the pictures released by Backgrid, you notice a pattern. These are all the pictures published by The Daily Fail and TMZ featuring both Harry and Meghan. Now, I'm going to ask you a trick question. And it is what do you think is the common denominator between all these uh, pictures? I don't need to blow them up at full size because I prefer that you can see all of them at the same time. There's one pattern that is repeated. And in fact, it is a bit unsettling when you notice it. Ready? Well, the pattern that all these pictures have in common is that none of them have them touching each other in any way. The headlines everywhere say holding hands, but we never see their hands together. In fact, we already established that uh, there were either two photographers who could cover the whole area from two angles, or one photographer with uh, complete freedom to move around them. And you tell me that in none of those two only possible scenarios, they couldn't get a clear shot of the hand holding Ah, those are not the articles that I know. In fact, this is one mind tool that I use when I'm doing body language analysis, and I encourage you to use it when looking at pictures. When you look at a photo, try to not think of people, but instead think of shapes, and shapes of different colors, so you can better tell the interactions between them. I'm sure you remember this picture from that New York concert back in 2021. If we think of Harry and Meghan as blue and red shapes, it is easier to spot how they are integrated. Even his hand is holding her close to himself. This is especially useful when you have many people in a picture, so it's easier to detect those interactions between them. Now, take another look at the pictures the tabloids posted. Now you see it, right? Now you see what's odd with them. What's odd with them is that in none of these pictures there is any physical contact. Present. In every single one of these photos, there's no way of spotting Harry and Meghan's bodies touching. But what is even more suspicious is that in none of those pictures, their bodies even overlap. This is an example of this. 
The photo on the left depicts Harry and Meghan years ago. It doesn't matter, but as we can see, there were enough photographers to confirm that they were holding hands, right? But there's no way of telling it from this picture, since her left hand and his right hand are hidden behind him. But if we analyze this picture with our new knowledge, we can see that at least from this angle, there's some kind of integration between their shapes. Again, this is a tool that could look deceivingly simple, but it will help you build three-dimensional awareness of scenes from pictures, even if you don't have the ability of visualizing three dimensions. So just try it. That's what makes all these pictures so artificial. There is zero integration between them. No touch, no overlapping, no nothing. You're telling me that the paps couldn't find the right angle? Give me a break. I highly doubt they were in the same place. The only picture that could have featured that hand-holding, or at least some overlapping, Harry is conveniently covered by the bodyguard. I mean, I am not a paparazzi, and I can take better pictures than this. Even their feet are perfectly aligned with one another, and this is the picture that they chose to publish. By the way, shout out to Megan Small, who reminded us but these photos were taken by Carl Larson, the same guy that tried to picture Thomas Markle and a bad light on its, his own YouTube channel and is currently grifting a memoir out of this. So the photographer is 100% on Megan's camp. And this is where things get weird. In this picture, in which you can barely see Megan, you can see that the top of her hat has a dark outline. I can understand that sometimes due to image compression or the picture was taken from some distance, uh, there could be what is called image artifacts. But this also happens when you cut out a person from a darker background and paste them into a lighter background. If you're not careful, you can take some of that darker background with you. Also, a handful of these pictures, Harry is conveniently hidden behind the SUV. And it's basically the same expression, only with different lighting. Now that I think of it, we don't have that much laughing from Harry. And if you have been following me for some time, you already know how easy it is to create images that look real and with a little Photoshop tinkering, you can make all the variations you need. And I agree that this is going to be a real problem real soon. By the way, this image does not exist. I made it on my computer in under three minutes. But one last take before we say goodbye. This picture was included in the pap reel and it doesn't even feature Harry. Maybe the Photoshop budget was tight. I would like to know what do you think about this in the comments. My royal rogues, it is my great displeasure to make these daily videos for you. All you need to do to keep me inspired making them is clicking the like and subscribe buttons. It's that easy and free. Remember the two most important words? Much love and bliss.